Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to part 45 of my ongoing Dark Souls series. We're getting really close to proving that even though I am terrible at action games, suck with a controller, <laughs> and, uh, and more, uh, that I can and will beat Dark Souls. Now, I've come uh, back to Lost Isolith, but we're going to take a different route in this time specifically uh, through the centipede demon's lair. We went in through the shortcut last time, uh, but there's actually a bonfire here. And let's rest at it so that if I die, you know, I'll come back here. Okay, so obviously um, we went in the other way last time. I'm not really super familiar with what's waiting for us here. Uh, let's make sure we have the orange charred ring so that this lava doesn't just kill us in about two seconds. It's going to chew up our armor pretty quickly so we'll get back to dry land. I see. So what I should have done is gone up here. And we want to keep an eye out for shinies. Um, I don't see any off to the right. Yeah, I, I don't see anything at all. So we got a bunch of dudes off to our right. Okay. I'm not sure if I actually need to fight them or not. You certainly can. So I see a shiny over there. Um, doesn't look like I'd be able to get back up over there, but I don't see any reason why I need to try anyway. Let's just do this real quick. Okay. Is there anything up? Oh, you don't get to go up, so never mind. Okay. I would say to the extent I had any idea what to do, <laughs> I've kind of uh, gone past that. There's another shiny over there. And there's guys over here, so let's just come over and grab the uh, the goodie, huh? Soul of a Brave Warrior. I mean, I'm not necessarily bowled over with the treasure so far, but uh, it's all good. Okay. I thought that thing was going to come to life. So there's something in here. And it's not a mimic. Okay, soul of a great hero. I was going to make a joke about how I hope this isn't a uh, soul packet. <laughs> and it was exactly that. Uh, that's okay. You know, at some point in the near future, before we fight Gwen, I'll probably just pop every single one I've got. I uh, didn't necessarily mean to aggro one of these guys, but I am kind of curious about... Oh, snap. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. This is so bad. Yeah, I, I did not know that thing was going to come alive, so I just got totally trapped. We walked right by another one, and he did not come alive. So trying to fight two guys at the same uh, moment, and even worse, one of them I know literally nothing about. Uh, as far as how to fight him. Okay, I'll run back and rejoin you there. Welcome back. Uh, I'm noticing this guy looks alive. Huh. He is moving though, right? If I walk in front of him? No? That's just really disturbing. Alright, so the question now is... Um, what do I do? Where do I go? Uh, yep. Let me just come over here where I have a little bit more room to maneuver. Let me 
drop out of two-handed mode. Wow. Okay, I'm not sticking around for the landing. Holy crap. I, I was way too slow there. I think I can just kill him. Yeah, okay. So I need to heal oh, really badly. This is another one. Don't like this. Don't like this. <laughs> oh, I didn't necessarily intend to um, take this whole place on. You know, my problem is he's in the lava. I can't, I can't fight him that way. So now let me try it. Ah, oh, you little. Okay, I'm gonna get tired of that, Mister. You hear me? All right. I mean, then they're not necessarily like super tough in a way, but I can't see, so it's very awkward, you know. All right. Well, at least we got rid of a couple of them. Now my souls are over here. Okay, that's that idiot gone. In a lot of ways, he had more to do with me dying than the actual, whatever these guys are, lava demons, jumping jacks, whatever. So I saw a shiny a second ago. Let me see, if I come back up, was it over there? It was off in the distance. There it is, it's up there. So I got to get across. So I guess I need to fight a couple more of these these things. I don't. Okay. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing to my armor this way. Oh no. Come on, man. Stop running away. I'm literally just going to rack my armor. Actually, what I should probably do is like put on hobbles or something. Crap. I realized he was going to do that and I just couldn't dodge. What I need to do though is heal. Okay, he just barely clipped me. I don't even think he did any damage. Oh, heck. Boy. So it's like he gets a chance to aim in midair, which is really cheesy. Okay, what's my durability look like here? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 369 out of 400. Oh. Okay. Well, it's not doing nearly as much damage as I was afraid it was going to. Yeah, okay. I'm actually in good shape uh, with all my stuff, so... Alright, let's just make a run for this thing. Um, I haven't really been watching the exact number of souls that I get every time I kill one of them, but my impression is it's not super exciting. And um, it's just like more trouble than it's worth. Crap. How come I, I can't get up this last stair and that thing is gonna come around the edge. I'm just gonna run around this. Hopefully there's some sort of stair or some kind of entry here. Oh, okay. You die. There is no entry? Oh. There we go. Oh, poo. Alright, fine. Okay, auto lock is a really bad idea. Let me just say that. Uh, hope. Oh, man. You are just a pain, you stupid thing. 
I'm double handing. I'm gonna just try to kill him quick. Burning through the Estus. Okay, I am confused here. How am I supposed to get inside or get up to that shiny? Um, that's two doors. Ah, okay. I mean, I figured there had to be something. All right. I guess just to just out of a, an abundance of caution let's just go ahead and do this and you know I guess what I should do I have my balder shield equipped is that really what I want this is better against fire and is anything else better still? Uh, yeah, but hovel, I mean, man, I'll be moving so slow. So we'll use this. That's fine. Okay, now there was some kind of upstairs. There was some kind of area. We saw that shiny. And yet... You know what? Why don't I kindle this bonfire? Oh, crap. I need I need a pop of humanity first. Oh, I have to pop two humanity. But I was so genius, I did not think of it till it was too late. Okay, one more. So, Kindle. And actually, you know what I'm wondering? Um, should I even just do more? Seriously, we're like right at the end of the game here. And um, especially if I end up not really using my um, uh, Fury Sword anymore, then I have way more humanity than I'll use. So using a couple to go ahead and push this higher, I don't really have a problem with that. So I believe this is as high as I can take it. Okay, so even the way we get beat up out there, but I'm actually thinking we may just clear these idiots out. Um, these monstrosities. Can I get the party started with my crossbow? I'm going to say the... Um, doesn't feel like my pyromancy would do a lot against these guys. My crossbow actually does, you know, really good damage. Uh, I... I can't see. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we got him. Yeah, I mean, if they're completely immune to sitting in lava... Don't get me wrong, my pyromancy is good and all, but... Just seems like that's not really going to put a dent in if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Going two-handed. Putting a beat down. Can't see... If there's anything out here worth getting. There's another one of these guys, though. Crap. You know what? I need to get out of here. I need to get out. There's too many. I'm trying. I'm stun locked. I think I'm dead. Yeah. Yep. 
Okay, I think fighting them out there is just probably a really bad idea anyway. Um, it's such a hassle pulling them back. Probably in part because of my ring of fog. Okay, it was over this way, I think. Yeah, I see my souls. So, let's kill this guy if I can. Okay. Ah, uh, come on. Heal. Alright. That's weird. How did I hurt him there? Okay, let's heal again. So here's one more, but I can't see my souls at all. Okay, I really got to get away from that stupid stomp. I mean, it's like he's going to a hoedown and I'm the floor, you know? Not really a good place to be. I don't see my souls anywhere. I think the problem is against this lava, it's just really tough. Or I'm just possibly standing in the wrong spot. So let's uh, kind of come back. Um, I, th I actually thought I saw them at one point. Okay, so it can't be over here. Well, can't is a big word, but I don't think it is. What about over here? I feel like that's just back the way I came. It was something like 20,000 souls. And you know, if I lose 20,000 souls, it's not the end of the world. But obviously I would prefer to find it. I see a couple of shinies over there. Let's see. I hate going, oh, okay. No point in going slow actually. Yeah, I don't know how to miss that stupid bounding attack of his. Like, I try dodging and he just, uh... Ah, hell. Yep. That's alright, we'll just come back. I should have just healed. Um... If I remember, it's going to be over to the left here. <laughs> mm, or it's not. I think it is. I think it's right over here. Yeah, there's my souls. Okay, so all we need to do is just run as fast as we can. Whoop. get away from his other leg boom he's dead okay it's really funny it seems like these fights always go one of two ways I rip them apart like they're nothing yeah really hard to see my blood stain or uh, play like crap and they chew me up I believe it's right on the other side of this yep we got a couple of shinies. And then I think I should probably check my armor just to be safe because... Oh, cool. Divine Blessing. Wow, two Divine Blessings. You know, I've never used these. I thought I might have to when I went into the pinwheel fight because that was all I had left. Uh, no Estus. But, you know, most of the time... It's funny, I rarely die because I run out of Estus. I die because I do something stupid. Or I get caught completely off guard by something. Um, but it's very rare that I'm in some protracted fight and, you know, they just manage to get the best of me because I ran out of healing. Uh, at any rate, let's repair equipment. So, not a lot going on there. Yeah, all right, I was afraid of that. I mean, I still have plenty of durability, but... Okay. So, is there... 
Well, I know somewhere out here is the path to the boss, <laughs> but I don't know where. Uh... Oh, crap. You stupid thing. Okay. I mean, there's there's more guys. Uh, I gotta be careful. I don't want him to breathe fire on me. There we go. Is it worth killing these idiots? Um, I feel like what I need to do is find the path to get to the boss. And it is very dangerous walking around here. As far as I can tell, they are not respawning. The ones that I've killed stay gone. Right? This is a cluster. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that's true. Okay, which one is the door with the bonfire? It's not this one. Boy, there's a lot of them. Like, seriously, a lot. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one. Well, I actually did manage to dodge his stupid bound, so that's something. Ah, uh, and I lost aggro. Wonderful. Man, he's got me stunlocked. I keep trying to, um, you know, I'm going to heal before I do anything else. See, I occasionally try to learn from my mistakes and say, okay, let's stop doing stupid stuff. Uh, although, equipping my crossbow at melee range is probably in that category. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Man, oh, stop it! He's so mean. Oh, hell, really? Uh, I'm getting really tired of them. So, here's the thing. I'm not actually a complete moron. Sometimes I just play one on YouTube. I see that he's stomping and I need to get away from his foot. Okay? I do. The problem is I'm trying to get away from his foot and I just literally cannot. Like, it's not letting me move. So, as a result, I end up getting my ass stomped pretty handily. Now, this one is not alive, right? Even though he looks like he's breathing. That's so disconcerting. So, yeah. Um, it's a little frustrating. I can't remember if this is the one I've already been to or, or what. So, let me just come over here. Because I think I'm kind of over just gratuitously fighting these guys. Okay, this is most definitely the one I had already been to. So, see, I still see that shiny upstairs at the one I just came from. Do you see that? But what I don't know is how to get to it. Oh, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes when you get a little distance, a little perspective, and you open your eyes and actually look. Sometimes you see. I know, it's very deep. But, uh, I had an epiphany. I did. And now we're going to get a reward. And if it's a soul packet... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so... From here, my question is, can I see where I believe it's called the bed of chaos would be like where am I trying to go 
These guys are just a distraction, really. Is it over there? I mean, that obviously marks an edge of the map. But I don't see any kind of tunnel or anything. Nonetheless, it is probably worth at least trying. It's, um, yeah, whoop, okay. Yeah, I think we'll go for it. If there's anything left out here, I don't know, obviously, what it is. Uh, we will repair it one more time, I think, or at least we'll look. I'm at 381 out of 400. Uh, but if we're going to go into a boss fight, I think I missed one. And I don't know if we are. I don't know if, I, if that's actually the area I should be looking for. Um, I also am not even sure I can come through this way. I gotta tell you, like, this is a pretty thick knot. Alright, I thought I might be able to go that way. You can't. And this looks like it's going to be more the same. Yeah, I don't know. Um, is there anything at the far end over here? Let me just chew up my health and my armor and find out real quick. You know what would be really awkward is if you got underneath one of these and then we're just completely trapped. Yeah, no, I can't climb up or anything. Alright, let's go ahead and use an Estus. I feel like, uh, let's go back over here. I feel like I'm going to have to fight my way through those things if there's a path at all. So I have to kill three of these guys that have been kind of kicking my ass, if we're honest. Um, the thing that I think is really funny about my fights with them is they only go one of two ways. I chew them up and spit them out, or they just stomp me like a grape. <laughs> you know, I haven't really had a lot of um, hard-fought wins, really. Alright. So you come over if you would be so kind. Now, this gets so frustrating. You know what I need to do? Uh, get out of the lava first. I'm nervous, but I'm going to take off the Ring of Fog. Now, let's try it. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't need all three. Okay. This is what I sort of wanted. Man. That's really disconcerting. So, I think it's his other foot that he always seems to stomp with. Okay, so this was one where we just tore him up like he's nothing. You know, I don't, I just don't see any path through there. I'll stay the course, but... Jeez, dude. Have some respect. So we're going to try this same strategy. This is his left foot, but obviously it's to my right. I think that's the answer. From the beginning of the fight, I have got to position myself there. If I let myself get near his right foot... The one on my left. Um, it's just really brutal because he starts doing the Mexican hat dance right on me. Um, and the problem is he weighs like 5,000 pounds. So it gets kind of kind of uncomfortable for me. No? I thought I might get through there. I have a feeling that this is all for absolute nothing, except, I guess, souls. 
So, yeah, that's actually the case. There is no path. That's where I picked up the, uh, the other stuff. Uh, I've forgotten the name. Divine Blessing. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to say here. Um, I don't really want to go look at a guide or anything, but um, I think we're running out of time right now. And I don't remember. I know I've seen a Let's Play at some point in time where they did this. Because I actually, it's funny how your memory works, or at least mine. I remember seeing the Bed of Chaos fight. And um, the basic approach to how to do that. But this zone and where you go and what you do while you're here. That I don't really remember so well so yeah he bounded or I need to kill him so fast one more shot and I'm dead like that's for sure um I mean it could be out here I don't even I'm so lost at this point I can't tell where I came in Okay, I just want to get on his left. Oh, that bastard, he... Where even is he? I gotta heal. He jumped again? Seriously? <laughs> That's so rude. That is so rude. Okay, he's dead. He paid the price. <gasps> Another one. Please don't, please don't stomp me, sir. Are they, like, attacking each other here or something? Because I don't feel like I actually killed that guy. Um, I feel like he suicided or, or something. Oh, that's not actually safe. I thought it might be. Um, okay. Tell you what, we're going to come back over here. Get out of the lava. I think we're out of time for this installment. You've certainly had a chance to see me kill a lot of um, a lot of guys that jump up and down and live in lava. Um, but not finding a lot of new stuff, really. That's unfortunate. Um, let's go to the one with the bonfire and then I think um, we're gonna probably call it this time I don't know if we'll clear this place out next time or not it takes a while and I don't know about you but I find that sound of being in the lava really annoying uh, I'll probably turn it down for you actually uh, but yeah for me I'm kind of stuck Anyway, I'm talking about irrelevancies. We're going to leave it for now. I will have to figure out where we go and what we do to get to the bed of chaos. But uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.